Guys, I can tell you right now, south of Sudan is probably the most intense trip I ever made in Africa. It is definitely intense, you know. <sighs> I don't even know from where to start. What's up guys, so welcome to South of Sudan, I finally made it yesterday after 5 days on the road. For my first impression of South of Sudan, it seemed to be uh, definitely more expensive, you know, than uh, Sudan and people are also very different. I can tell you that I already miss the warmness and the hospitality of the people in Sudan but uh, I just got here yesterday so I will give some time and I will see how it is Also guys, I wanted to tell you that I got myself a knife, hopefully I will not have to use this knife, you know, but just for my safety, I need to carry something, you know, because you never know what can happen. If you do know, but uh, south of Sudan, it's the newest country in the world. Uh, in 2011, south of Sudan take its independence from Sudan because before uh, Sudan was like one country, you know, and then for uh, different staff, uh, political staff, and also uh, religion, uh, south of Sudan became independent. You know guys, so much, so much cash for like, nothing, eh? People also uh, look at me quite uh, really uh, intense. People stare at me, you know, because I am obviously uh, different, you know. The color of my eyes and uh, the skin and also like uh, the hair and the beard. So uh, I find it really interesting, you know, because um, at the end of the day, we are all black, you know. But uh, also, I think in our community, we can be, uh, we can look somebody, we can look somebody as a stranger. And uh, here, I feel uh, as a stranger to the eyes of the people. So it is really uh, interesting to see how is it. Sometimes it makes me feel quite uncomfortable, you know, because uh, people can notice that I am not from the area straight away, you know. But uh, yeah, I think it's okay. People speak English and uh, we will see. We will see how it goes.
right now guys I'm in WoW I made it yesterday from uh, Hung Rock I think it took us about uh, 3 hours to get here and uh, once again yesterday I got checked at the checkpoint you know and uh, we were stuck there for like maybe uh, one hour and a half even yesterday when I got in town in Wau I didn't have my passport you know because they told me that we need to keep your passport to investigate why are you here and what is the reason of your visit here in South of Sudan I found it quite weird you know because I uh, have done my visa in Khartoum you know in the embassy of South Sudan in Khartoum and if I wasn't allowed to come here they won't give me my visa in Khartoum but uh, I had my visa in Khartoum and when I come here I found myself into too much trouble you know so it doesn't make sense you know I think like uh, there is no organization at all like people don't know really what they are doing you know and this is quite uh, annoying because uh, I think they don't even know what is the meaning of a passport you know like in my passport I have all my stuff you know my name surname uh, place of birth you know and I have my visa I have everything and they still tell me this is not enough we need something else you know so yesterday I found myself into some trouble again you know like I said, I was stuck for more than one hour uh, in a checkpoint. I showed them my picture and everything I was doing, but uh, you know, it was difficult for them to understand. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, here in uh, Africa, uh, mostly in South Sudan, you know, they are asking for money. So once you give them some money, they let you go fast, you know. But uh, when you don't give anything, stay there for like hours and hours like uh, me yesterday 